Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Always, it's a pleasure to be here with you all. Please have a comfortable seat. You can sit on your heels if that works for you. Otherwise, just cross your ankles and sit on a chair. I'm just going to sit on my heels for just now. And then close your eyes for just a moment. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale it out. And just begin to sense your body today. Just kind of notice what's happening. Maybe you've been at a desk all day. Maybe you've been walking around. Whatever it is, just notice how your body feels. And then notice your mood and attitude and feelings and thoughts. Notice everything about you right now. Notice your breath. And when you're doing the noticing, see if instead of just observing it and kind of labeling it, see if you can feel it. So like actually feel the breath. What does the breath feel like? Without really having to change anything, can you just kind of notice the feelings associated with the thoughts, with the breath, with the sensations in the body. And then as you gently blink your eyes open, just allow whatever it is in front of you, um, just come to you, whatever is right in front of you, maybe a chair, maybe a table, maybe whatever it is in front of you, just allow that to be welcome to you and then take your hands and put them on your rib cage please and as you soften the shoulders away from the ears breathe into your rib cage feel how the breath expands the rib cage and moves the rib cage away from each other and as you exhale Notice how you can bring the ribs closer to each other. So the floating ribs come towards each other as you exhale and then expand away from each other as you inhale. Kind of have, stay with that feeling, sensation. It doesn't really matter what, you know, you're feeling underneath the hands in terms of like your clothing or muscles or whatever it is but i want you to really feel the expansion of the breath feel the ribs floating away from each other and with each exhalation feel them coming close to each other inhale and exhale a couple more times inhale and exhale one more time, inhale, feel, feel the expansion and exhale, feel the contraction, feel the floating ribs come towards each other. And then find that happy medium be between the expansion and the contraction. And soften your arms away from your shoulders, from your, drop your arms down. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the arms up towards the sky and exhale, turn the palms down, and then lower the arms down, bring the hands behind you. As you bring the hands behind you, keep the palms facing each other. Turn the palms, have the palms face each other. And then roll the shoulder blades, shoulders up towards your ears as you blow them down towards your waist. So almost like you're ready to take off, like you're ready to fly. Let the shoulders fall away from the ears, but arms are really, really strong. Keep the hands, the palms of the hands facing each other. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and then slowly begin to lift the arms behind you. So keep the shoulders away, lift the arms as much as they easy they can come up and then exhale lower the arms down now lift the arms in front keep them parallel 
So almost like you have a ball in between your hands. Squeeze the ball in between your hands. And maintain that squeeze. And then kind of swing them all the way down, even though obviously you can't hold the ball as you're crossing your body unless it's an invisible ball. But take your hands behind you, keep the shoulders away, lift the arms as high as you can while the shoulders stay down. That's really important. Make sure the shoulders are not coming up. And imagine you have that ball in between your hands and you're pressing them. And two more times, inhale. Notice how much heat you're generating just by imagining this ball in between the hands and you're pressing the ball in between the hands. Notice how much heat you're generating in the arms. Take the arms down and up and then pause here as you imagine that ball in between the hands. Keep squeezing that imaginary ball and then slowly Lower the arms down and up. This time bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Bend the elbows back. And as you bend the elbows back, you can grab opposite elbows if that works for you. Or maybe you can bring your hands to prayer pose and then drop the thumbs to the nape of your neck. As you do that, notice the floating ribs. So the tendency is to leak energy out of the belly, floating ribs expand out. I want you to do what we did earlier. So bring the floating ribs towards each other as your hands come behind your head and lift the elbows up. So don't leak energy out of the belly. Keep the floating ribs towards each other. Your elbows are lifting towards the ceiling and your Maybe your hands are in prayer, maybe you're holding opposite elbows. Just begin to really extend the arms up from your shoulders. So from the armpits, the arms are lifting, the hands are in prayer pose, the elbows are up towards the ceiling. Take a nice deep breath in, pull the floating ribs in, don't let them jet out and exhale and release notice how much heat you just created in the arms and then bring your hands on the floor please with your inhalation send that left leg back behind you as you exhale step the left foot in between the hands lift the torso up bring your hands to your hips please take a nice deep breath in floating ribs towards each other and exhale and twist your torso over to the left. Notice that left hip wants to lift up. Can you lower the left hip down and raise the right hip up? And then take the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Take the left arm out to the side. Press that left knee onto the back of your right hand as you twist a little bit more. Nice deep inhalation here. Exhale, and then unwind. Bring your hands back down to the floor. Step your left knee back. Step the right foot forward. Inhale. <clears throat> Come on up, hands on your hips. Notice that right hip wants to lift up. Lower the right hip down as you lift the left hip up. And then twist your torso over to the right. So don't let that left hip drop. And then take your left hand to the back of your right knee or the side of your right knee and right arm reaches back. Can you press that left right knee into your left hand as you twist a little bit deeper? Keep the chest up, spine is long. Nice deep inhalation and exhale and then unwind. Bring your hands back to the floor. Step your right knee back. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, right hip lifts, left hip lowers. Actually, do this with your hips. Raise the right hip up, left hip down. And then exhale and rotate towards the left. Arms reach out. Now pause here. Press that knee into your hand. Now slowly begin to lean back 
as you reach towards your left, or excuse me, right heel. So you don't have to touch the heel, but just kind of reach towards it. Nice deep inhalation. Come back to the center, hands come down. Step your left knee back, right foot forward. Come on up, hands on the hips. Lift the left heel up, hip up, lower the right hip down. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand presses onto the right knee, right hand reaches up. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, twist just a little bit more, and then slowly begin to lean back as you reach for that left heel. You may or may not find that that's okay. And come all the way back to the center. Bring your hands back down to the floor, step your right knee back. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, tuck your toes under, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. Downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here. Keep the knees bent, please, and exhale. As you keep your knees bent, walk your toes all the way to your hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, unfold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, or Mahasthasana. Exhale, hands come to the heart center, Samastihi. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, plant your hands down, step your left foot back. Bring the left knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist over to the right. Lift the left hip up. Inhale, reach the left arm up, reach the right hand back behind you and see if you can find your left heel. Maybe you just kind of take your gaze down for just a moment as you find your heel. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle your hands all the way down to the floor and step your left foot up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, unfold, step the right foot back behind your right knee, comes down to the floor. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Remember, Lift that right hip up, left hip down. Inhale and expand. Exhale, reach back behind you. Maybe you can find your right heel. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale and circle your hands all the way down. This time, step your left foot back. Downward facing down. Inhale, float the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right knee to your chest and pause. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower the right knee down to the floor and just tap. Inhale, bring that right knee back to your chest, round the back. Exhale, lower the right knee down and tap. Inhale. Exhale, this time pick up the right knee and hold it here and then send the right leg back behind you so you're still in plank pose now press up to downward facing dog, three-legged dog, and downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, draw the left knee to your chest, pause. Really press the earth away around the back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lower the knee down to the floor and tap. Go ahead and do that. Again, two more times. Pick up that knee, round the back, and inhale, lower the knee down and tap. Exhale, bring the knee to your chest, round the back, pull the belly in, and inhale, lower the knee down and tap. This time, as you bring the knee up, hold, send the left leg straight back behind you, top of the push-up, with the left leg hovering, and then send the left leg up, Three-legged dog and downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, walk, jump or float your feet to your hands. Inhaling halfway up, exhale and fold forward. Drop the head down, grab opposite elbows and you can sway your torso side to side. <clears throat> 
Inhale, bring your hands back to your hips and come all the way up to standing. Reaching up, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Samastihi. Take a big step back with your left foot, please. Bend the right knee deep. Step that right foot out to the right so you can come into your warrior one. Reach the arms up. Pick up that left heel off the ground. Bend the left knee back. As you bend the left knee back, you can notice that you can really bring the ribs towards each other. Inhale, reach as the ribs stay towards each other. Exhale, turn your torso first and then reach the arms out to the side. Inhale, and lift the chest. Exhale, lower that right hand down. Find your left hamstring as you reach the left arm up and stretch it back. Inhale here. Now listen up here. Exhale. You're going to circle your hands all the way down to the floor. Left hand down to the floor. And then float the left leg up behind you. You come into Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Revolve half moon. So let's do that again. Bend the right knee. Lower the left toes down to the floor. Lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Reach the right hand towards your left hamstring. Inhale and expand. Exhale. Imagine you're holding that big wheel in front of you. Lower the left fingertips up as you send the left leg up. Pavrita Adhya Chandrasana. One more time. Lower the left toes down. Bend the right knee. Inhale, reach the left arm up as you stretch it back and exhale, lower the left hand down to the floor and lift the left leg up, Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana, pause, bend the left knee, reach back behind you, find the left toes with your right fingertips and stretch it open, take a nice deep breath in and exhale, release. Step the left toes back, come into your lunge, lift the chest up, and then send the right leg back, downward facing dog. Come to top of the push-up, lower down to bottom of the push-up. Inhale, upward double cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, pause. As you exhale, walk, jump, or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine halfway up. Exhale and fold. Hands come to your hips. Inhale, come on all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up. Orbahastasana. Exhale. Samastihihi. Hands come to the heart center. Take a big step back with your right foot, please. Step the left foot out to the left. Bend the left knee, inhale, reach the arms up into warrior one. Pick up that right heel off the ground. Floating ribs come in. You can bend that right knee to allow the ribs to come in towards each other. Turn your torso over to the left and then open your palms out to the side. Take a nice deep breath here. Reach the right fingertips forward left fingertips back, find your right hamstring. Inhale and expand. Now we're going to go to that Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. So lower that right fingertips down to the floor as you lift the right leg up. Inhale, lower the right toes down, bend the left knee, pick up the right hand, reach back behind you. Imagine you're turning this big wheel and exhale and toes, uh, fingertips come down as the toes lift up. One more time, inhale, toes come down, reach the right fingertips up, stretch it up, inhaling, and exhale, lower the right fingertips down as you reach the right leg up, pause. Take a nice deep breath here, Exhale, bend that right knee, reach back behind you, see if you can find your left or right toes, and then really kick your shin back. And as you do, twist your torso over to the left, and then slowly release. 
Bend the left knee, reach the right toes to the back of your mat, come into your lunge. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Come to top of the push-up and lower down to bottom of the push-up with your exhalation. Inhale, lift the chest up, upward dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale here, as you exhale, bend your knees deep, walk, jump or float your feet to your hands. Inhaling, halfway up, exhale and fold. Now this time, pick up the left toes off the ground, turn your left palm up and slide your palm underneath your foot as if you've got a spatula in your hand and you're kind of picking up a piece of fish from the um, pan. So slide it under. You want to make sure that you keep the knees bent, your rib cages on the top of your thighs. The toes come to the wrist as close as you can get them. Do the same thing with the right foot. So pick up the right toes up, turn the right palm up, and then slide it under. Now, lengthen the spine, so keep the rib cage onto your thighs, straighten the elbows, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly begin to let the elbows open to the side. As you lean forward, drop the head down, let your toes stretch out your wrist. So you want your toes to be as close as you can get them towards your wrist. And then drop the head down for a moment. Really deep, deep stretch for the low back. As long as your knees are bent, you're protecting your spine. So keep the knees bent as much as you can. If you have to bend it all the way down like this, that's fine. You can slowly begin to straighten the knees as long as your torso is glued, your rib cage is glued to your thighs. Take a nice deep breath here, exhale, and then release the hands, please. Bring your legs closer together, feet together, and bend the knees um, as much as you can. So you're going to come into this kind of a version of move of move the back so you can see. So you can come into this kind of uh, toe stand. Your hands are in front, your heels are lifted. And then just to st stick that left leg out in front of you. See if you can reach towards your left toes or the outside edge of the left foot, or you can maybe grab your left shin. Inhale, lift the chest up, and exhale, just begin to slowly lower your torso down. So you can stay here and practice this, or maybe some of you can begin to pick up the left toes off the ground as you bring the right heel down towards the floor. You can interlace your fingers behind the bottom of your left foot, and then lift the chest up. Keep pressing that heel away from the hip, Take a nice deep breath in. Now release the foot so your leg stays up there and then slowly begin to lift the hips up and send the left leg back and up. It's a little bit tricky into your standing spot. We'll try it a couple more times so you can get it. <clears throat> Inhale. Now let's stay on this leg. Bring that left knee to your chest. Pick up the right heel off the ground, swing that left leg through. So you're extending that left leg straight in front. Lower that right heel down. You can grab your left foot, lift, whoop, <laughs> and if you fall, you fall, that's okay. Lift the left heel up, lengthen the spine, lift the chest up, take a nice deep breath here, exhale and then lower the hips down to the floor and begin to lift the left leg up a little bit higher. Take a nice deep breath here. Now release the leg, so don't hold on to the leg anymore. Bring the hands next to your body. Lean forward, pick up that right heel off the ground, bend the left knee and go into standing split again. 
Let's try it one more time. Inhale. Bring the left knee to your chest. Bend the right knee. Lift the right heel off the ground. Extend the left leg in front. Lower that right heel down. Grab your left foot as you lift it up. Lower the hips down. Lift the left leg up closer to your body. Take a nice deep breath here. And as you exhale, release that left foot. Hands are off. Hands come down next to your body. Lean forward, bend the left knee, and send the left leg up into the standing split. And then lower the left toes down. So let's try it on the other side. Right leg up behind you, standing split. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right knee to your chest and then bend the left knee. That left heel comes up, that's okay. Let the right foot slide in front. Lower the left heel down. Reach with your right hand, see if you can find your right foot, and then grab your right foot with both hands. Now lower the hips down. Extend the toes up, bring your legs a little bit closer to you, inhale. Exhale, release the foot, hands come right next to your body. Pick up your hips off the ground, lean forward, bend that right knee, and send the right leg back up into your standing split. Inhale, two more times. Exhale, right knee comes to your chest, swing the right leg in through. Lower the left heel down, grab your right foot, take a nice deep breath in, lower the hips down, bring that leg a little bit closer to you. Release the leg, hands come next to your body. Lift the hips up, bend the right knee, standing split, send the right leg back. So the reason we did all that work at the beginning with the floating ribs is so that you can know where that core comes from. One last time. Right knee comes to your chest. So really pull the belly. Lift the left heel up. The belly is pulled in. Extend the right leg in front. Grab the right foot. As you grab the right foot, have a seat. Bring that right leg a little bit closer to you. Now the whole time, this whole time your core is engaged. Now release the hands, bring the hands right next to your body so the core is really engaged now. Floating ribs are pulling in. Bend the right knee as you lean forward, send the right leg back up, standing split, and then lower the right foot down. Very good. So kind of let me know how you did on that. If you liked, if you liked it, if you hated it, if you never want to do it again, just give me feedback and uh, we'll take it from there. Well, put your hands in front of your mat, legs back behind you. Take a nice deep breath in into your downward facing dog. And as you exhale, come down on your knees, lean your hips back into child's pose. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, take your right arm under your body as you twist. So child's pose with a twist. Bring the right side of your ear down to the floor. Nice deep breaths into your low back. Release the core for just a moment, just so you can relax a little bit. So you don't want to be contracting your core the entire time. And then switch side. Right arm in, arm in front, left arm out to the side. Thread the left arm under your body as you bring the left side of your face down on the floor. Nice deep inhalation, exhale. And then gently pick yourself back up, come to tabletop pose. Let's do a couple of um, um, cat cows here. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, pull the belly around the back. And two more times. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Last one, please. Inhale, the chest lifts. And exhaling, pull the belly in. And 
And then just have a seat, please. And if you like to, you can sit on your blanket, which I highly suggest, and take the legs out to the side. So legs are wide open. Sit tall, bring your hands behind you, press your heels down, press your uh, sit bones down, everything. The back of your leg is really strongly stretching out. The front of your legs is contracting. Lift the chest up for just a moment. Close your eyes, sit tall. So as I mentioned several times, um, our Wednesday classes are usually all levels, but I like to often, um, you know, offer you some challenging stuff that for a lot of, a lot of you are regular practitioners. So I want to make sure that you feel challenged. So if you happen to, if this happens to be your first class, please don't be discouraged. I want you to come back. This really is a practice. Bring your hands in front, inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, walk your hands forward. So don't feel like you have to know everything and do everything perfectly. There's no such thing as a perfect pose, but we all just get in here and play and release tension. And if you'd like a little bit more, um, like a slower, gentle class, Fridays are a good class for you to be there. We really focus more on stretching. Inhale, we lift, come back a little bit lower. Exhale, maybe extend the legs out as you bring your elbows down, but continue to lift your chest up. So many of these poses were just uh, the main ones, the seated ones were really created to um, allow us to uh, get, um, become aware of our spine. So ancient yogis realized that, come on, all the way back up, turn your torso over to the left, take your right elbow on the inside of the right knee as you reach the left arm up and over. And then pause here for a moment. Lengthen the spine, so you really want to stretch out the left side. Make sure you're not folding over. I don't care how low you get to that right leg, Really, the intention here is to lift that elbow up towards the ceiling. So it's better to stay up as opposed to round it forward. So ancient yogis realized that uh, we're much better off with, you know, toned uh, internal organs that are healthy and working properly and functioning 100% than Say if we have a bum leg or bum arm, we can really live our lives, but really uh, some, one of our internal organs is hurting and not so much, right? So begin to reach the left arm up towards the ceiling, and then as if someone is pulling you up, lift the torso all the way up, turn your torso over to the right, bring that left elbow on the inside of the left knee. Reach the right arm up, right hand comes behind your head. So the poses were created to become aware of our spine. The location, the proximity, the shape of it, all the poses are, are the main poses of yoga are created to be about the spine. Everything else, you know, our Western uh, um, practitioners have kind of created. And we keep adding stuff to become more to be more creative and playful. Reach the right elbow up, but really the main, main, main poses are, um, eight main poses that are seated, just to allow the spine to lengthen. And then reaching the right arm up as if someone's pulling your wrist, come all the way up towards the seated again. Take a nice deep breath in again, turn your torso over to the left. Your arm, your hands are framing that left leg, lift the chest up, and then inhale, slowly begin to lower your torso towards the left knee. Make sure that that right knee and the right toes are still staying up towards the ceiling, so you don't want to turn the toes down. 
the right knee and toes are lifting up, you're just lengthening your spine towards the left knee. So everything else that we do is just for fun. And I know sometimes it seems like, what is going on here and how is she doing this? But remember that at any point, if you choose not to do a pose, that's perfectly fine. Inhale, come on up, exhale. Turn your torso over to the right and then lean your torso over to the right knee, keeping that left knee and left toes up towards the ceiling. So all, every, every pose is optional. Nothing is mandatory. And inhale, coming all the way back to the center, lean back, bring your knees up, put your um, blanket to the side, put your feet flat on the floor, and then lay down, please, on your back. Bring your heels a little bit closer to your buttocks. We're gonna get go in and out of some bridge poses, okay? So lift the hips up. And as you lift the hips up, bring your elbows right next to your body like robot arms. Press your triceps down on the floor as you lift the hips up. Lift the hips up as much as you can. Maybe you can get your legs parallel to the floor, but it, you don't have to. I want you to really use this triceps to lift the hips up. Try not to turn your head, please. And really focus on your rib cage melting towards each other again. So remember how we pull the ribs towards each other. More, most important thing here, pull the floating ribs towards each other as you lift the hips up. And really, you're going to feel the rectus femoris muscles, the uh, major muscles in your quadriceps light up here. Take a nice deep breath here. Exhale and lower down. Now that you've got the alignment, we're gonna do some dynamic moves. Inhale, press to the bottom of your feet to lift the hips up. And exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Your hips are last to come. Inhale, lift the hips up, press to the bottom of your feet, and exhale and lower down. One more time. Inhale, lift the hips up, and exhale and lower down. Now this time, as you lower the heel, hips down, bring the knees to your chest, rock a little bit side to side, and we're gonna get ready for, um, for shoulder step. So shoulder stand, couple of options is if you have a block or a blanket or a pillow, you can do a nice supported shoulder stand. You just lift the hips up and take the pillow or block under your hips. Beautiful, beautiful way to do this. If you like to do more of a shoulder stand with me, then begin to lift the hips up and then bring your toes overhead into cloud pose and as you bring your toes overhead kind of scoot your hips down up a little bit so you can bring your hands on your kidneys to support your kidneys so you're going to cloud pose first keep the elbows close to each other as much as you can and then you begin to slowly lift one leg up towards the sky and then the other leg up towards the sky so uh, my legs are actually going to the top of the opposite wall. It's not straight up and down. You want the ribs to come towards each other. You want the inner thighs to come towards each other. You can stay here with the legs elongated like this, or you can helicopter the legs, take the legs apart and then scissor them. If that feels good, go for it. Or my favorite thing to do is go into eagle legs, which means crossing one leg on top and then crossing again and squeezing the inner thighs towards each other. So any of those options is great for you. Just don't turn your head. Keep your eyes on your knees and your belly and breath. 
Just keep breathing, take a nice deep breath. And if you have eagle legs, separate your legs and do the opposite leg on the other side. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Breathe into your belly. It's a little bit harder to breathe here. And if you're on your moon cycle and don't want to do this, the best thing to do is just do a supported bridge. So just lift your hips up and stay on a, on a log or blanket. Inhale, reach the legs back up. And then come all the way down back to plow pose if you're in shoulders down. And then maybe you want to bend your elbows, Karnapadasana, as you bring the, I'm sorry, bend your knees as you bring the knees close to your ears. And then slowly, slowly, slowly begin to roll down. If you are in a supported shoulders down or supported bridge, just go ahead and lift the hips up and put the block to the side. Everybody extend your legs straight. So one more time, before you do that, lift the hips up, put your hands under your hips. Now extend your legs straight. Begin to bring your elbows close to each other and just pop your chest up towards the sky into fish pose. This is a really, really good pose for a thyroid gland. Let the throat open up. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale and relax all the way down. And then put your feet flat to the floor. Windshield wipe your knees side to side. And cross one knee on top of another. Drop your knees over to one side. Rest for a moment into a nice twist. And then coming all the way back to the center and switch your legs to the other side and rest for a moment. So the challenge of um, teaching this class really is that I want to get your feedback and I love hearing from you. So anytime you feel free, um, I'm happy to also give you my email if you want to reach out to me. Um, I love hearing from you. I love teaching these classes and it's, um, it's really wonderful that you all show up for yourself. Bring your knees back to your chest once again. Hug your knees in and we're ready for our final pose. Shavasana. So what I'll do is I'll write my email and chat if you guys want to chat with me or, or um, let me know what you'd like to do and what not to do and all that stuff. It really helps me in teaching my classes. Come into your final pose please. Shavasana. Let the back of your head rest comfortably on the floor. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale side out. Let the eyes sink into the sockets. Let the tongue be heavy. And just breathe. you rest here just notice that everything that we just did is in the past literally a second ago is gone everything we talked about all our conversation everything that you have done up to now is gone past Maybe there's a memory of it, maybe there are thoughts about it, maybe there's ideas, opinions, but the actual thing is no longer here. And really, the future hasn't come either. 
So really the most important thing is just this, this moment, just this breath. Noticing that maybe we can become a little bit more aware of this moment, just this breath. I invite you as you go through the rest of your day, just becoming more aware of just this moment, what is happening right now. How is my breath right now? How do I feel this moment? How do I respond right now? Please gently begin to deepen your breath. Draw one knee to your chest and then the other knee to your chest. As you hug your knees in, notice which nostril you're breathing out of a little bit easier. Roll over to that side and pause for a moment. And just notice this moment. Everything is in the past. Just notice this moment. And as you do, as you transition to your seat, gently press yourself up. Bringing your hands to the heart center, feel your palms touching. Your palms feel like this moment. Bow down to your own heart. Notice your breath now. Thank you so much for allowing to guide you through your practice. Have a beautiful day and always be present in this moment. Namaste.